Hey, hello, Mark Taylor here with Commercial Roofs of Texas. Uh, up here doing a daily inspection of the progress of our metal roof retrofit we're doing in Carrollton, Texas. Uh, I'm going to spend a little time talking a little bit about what we're doing up here so that you can kind of understand what a metal roof retrofit is and why we're doing it. I've shot a bunch of video uh, and I'll clip those in as I go along. But essentially what we're talking about here is we've got a, a trapezoidal panel and this particular building has zero insulation underneath the trapezoidal panel. And they have a lot of issues because with a trapezoidal panel you get exposed fasteners. And those exposed fasteners over time are leaking. You can see where they've used all kinds of different materials to repair or try to repair the issues they've had. The original gutter wasn't the right size and the list goes on it's a tilt wall building so they had water leaking down the inside of the gutters into the building and down the side of the building uh, and so the idea here is to address all those issues but at the same time create uh, some insulating uh, that they didn't have so that they can climatize uh, this building and use it for uh, storage climatized storage so what we're doing, traditionally, a lot of times when we do a, uh, a retrofit like this, we use a loose laid insulation, but you can only go so, so high with your retrofit framing. And so we needed to maximize the R value that we could with the space we had available. And so we're actually putting in uh, four and a half inches of insulation board, and that's getting us pretty close to uh, an R25 and that's a true R25. We're using a flute filler, a wedge-shaped uh, three-inch ISO board to fill the trapezoidal panel, and then we're going over the top of that with staggered joints with an inch and a half insulation board, which leaves us right in line with the top of our retrofit curling that we've put in from top half. And then we're putting a two-inch vertical lock standing seam panel in place. Uh, we prefer this uh, over a trapezoidal panel in this application because it allows us to get the structural integrity that we need with the two inch vertical lock. We're doing a 180 degree seam lock, uh, but it also allows us to do this without any exposed fasteners. And so when we get through with this roof, uh, you're not gonna see any exposed fasteners. And that's gonna allow this roof, a 24 gauge gal balloon roof should be up here uh, outside of a tornado coming through, we should see, you know, 50 or 60 years out of this roof system, and now they're going to have adequate insulation. And if they want to increase the insulation, we'll come in and spray foam the inside of the underneath of the, the trapezoidal panels. So, again, we'll do another video, short video, about this as we progress, and we'll talk about using a transverse standing seam panel, which most people are unfamiliar with. Uh, we'll be using that at the elevator shaft on this building. Uh, that's going to give us, again, uh, no exposed fasteners, and it's going to give us a leak-free roof system. So appreciate y'all watching, and we look forward to sharing some more with you.